Now, NSNG, a student of Accra Technical University, launched a sachet water selling business wearing a suit. He decided to flip the street selling rules on its head after he realized the traditional way of selling didn't earn him enough to cater for his tuition and accommodation. But with a 15% increment in school fees and skyrocketing accommodation fees, he fears his suit selling water business may not be enough to help him survive the harsh economy. My colleague Mamisi Nyamisha Thompson caught up with him. At first I was selling, well, I was taking it one bag, then I added some drink, but now the drink is expensive and it's not moving. So what I did was, I need to take the Piotta two and a half bags, because the two and a half bags, if I sell one bag, I get four cents, 50 pesos. Things is not easy, things is not easy. Sometimes I will be on campus and my grandma will be like, Kobe, she needs money. The sight of Ernest wearing a suit in the steamy hot afternoon weather at Kingsway Market excites many traders. They get so excited that they rush to him to buy his chilled water. Within minutes, his water is finished. With many other Sasha water vendors around, it is right to assume that the traders prolong their thirst just to buy water from a man in a suit. Ernest carries on his head a pan filled with chilled sashi water. He holds in his left hand a leather bag for his money and a tray in the right. He proudly walks through the market, ready to quench the thirst of his customers. At first I was selling, well, I was taking it one bag, then I added some drink, but now the drink is expensive and it's not moving. So what I did was, I need to take the Piotta two and a half bags. Because the two and a half bags, if I sell one bag, I get four cities, 50 pesos. So when I, I sell more, then I decide, then I do what? I save this. His style of selling is unique. While other Sasha water vendors wear ordinary clothes, Ernest is dressed for success. He has successfully branded himself as the suit wearing iced water vendor. He doesn't only get eyeballs fixed on his suit, he also makes more money. So as I started selling, my highest water I've sold is 28 bucks. In a day? In a day. I started 10 a.m. and I, I closed this day. Following the death of his parents, he struggled to put himself through school. He was admitted to Accra Technical University to fulfill his lifelong dream of becoming a building contractor. With no support and a family to care for, he started selling sachet water. Sometimes the, the work that we do, we do it online and you haven't registered, you, have, you are not part of the students. So I consult a friend and said, you get 700 for me. So he also gave me 700 and I paid. The second semester, it's left with 1,000 for me to add up before I can continue the second semester. Then, so during the vacation is I started selling the water. Despite his strategy, he makes marginal profits. It is not enough to take care of his tuition and accommodation fees. Things is not easy. Things is not easy. Sometimes I will be on campus and my grandma will be like, Kobe, she needs money. She needs money. And what should I do? I need to come to the street and come and sell. And now to the school fees has increased. I was thinking as you are moving forward, it will be reducing. Not knowing as you are moving forward, and it's also increasing. So at first I pay around 1,007, and now I'm paying 2,000. It has increased to 2,000. The hostel fee too has increased. Ernest tries to send monthly stipends to his grandmother and two sisters back home in the village of Agunan Sabah. Despite his unique 
excelling ability. He's unable to send money frequently. Balancing education with hawking water is daunting. Today, he has ditched classes just to make enough money to pay his tuition and accommodation fees. This semester started, I was thinking of how to pay the fees one and how to, where I will sleep. Because my uncle's place now, I can't always sleep in a car and also come to campus. So I need to do it. Work, work out, go to class and, and come and come to the street and sell. And I need to also pay the school fees and that has become my headache now. Ernest Entry says shyness doesn't cure hunger. So he would break his back to put food on his table. But he also has his hand wide open to anyone who would help.